Victor Grace Saudi. I am the firstborn daughter of my mom. And today it gives me great joy to see her finally graduating from uh, Telea University with the master's degree. Today is a really joyful day because um, I've really enjoyed seeing my mom graduate and it's a very nice and wonderful experience for me because it has allowed me to see my mom achieve what she actually desired to achieve. My name is Jean Chitanzo Sawote. I'm a pastor and uh, before that I'm, uh, I'm an agricultural, pro uh, uh, agricultural scientist by profession. And so when God called me um, though I was going through some challenges, physical challenges, uh, like physical paralysis, uh, I couldn't just stay home to avoid standardness of my brain and uh, to avoid going through trauma because I had experienced a lot of challenges because of my physical disability. Um, I was uh, faced with uh, sacked from, uh, from work before they actually re-employed me again after almost a year. Because I had gone through so many challenges, I, I couldn't just cope. I had to, you know, rise up in my spirit to tell myself that physical disability or physical challenges doesn't mean that you are disabled. So I had to rise up in my spirit and begin to pursue some studies in order to catch up with the, uh, the world. I, I, I have founded several initiatives and organizations. I have Peru Foundation, which is a girl child empowerment. I have uh, I founded a Lion King's Generation, which is a, an, organ, an initiative for uh, secondary school, boy child empowerment. I have founded Women Arise and Shine, which is a ministry that empowers vulnerable women and also the Pell Foundation, which empowers um, vulnerable children, especially the girl child. I have been equipped, I have been empowered to be a woman of purpose. Uh, in the course of all our learning for a period of about five years, there's been a lot that has happened, there have been like a lot of ups and downs there's just been a lot and to just finally be here where she has finally made it and and she's here finally in her graduation ground <laughs> in her graduation gown it makes me really happy and she's physically challenged and even though it hasn't been easy like to, to be born with a mother who has always been okay and then abruptly she becomes like this. It was never easy. It was painful. We were really hurt. Even though she's like this, but she still has a heart to go on pursuing greater things. And that is a great motivation for me and my brother. At least for me, it is, it is a very great motivation. When I was young, it was really hard for me to accept and to see my mom in this condition. But then through what she has taught us, raised us up, teaching us the knowledge that she got from Tinet, um, it has also motivated me to know that everything happens for a purpose and we are at the place that God wants us to be. Um, and I'm really so joyful today because I've seen my mom yeah, achieve her goal, which is a very wonderful experience that shall never be forgotten. And all I want to say is thank you, Mom, for grooming me to be the type of person that will also be a light to other people. Thank you. And congratulations to you, Mom. Thank you. I love you so very much. Thank you. And thank you for grooming me into the lady that I am today. I will not stop loving you and I'll always be there for you.